Okay, there are a couple more things I just want to try with arrays. Um, I want to go through print R and I want to go through for each loops. Um, so just to start off with, just to crack on, I'm going to create my one dimensional array again. Films array and then do Star Wars. Um, what was the other one I was going to do? Uh, Alien, Alien, and Terminator. Um, now I just want to show you um, a useful little thing called print R, where you just do print underscore R, then you do your actual array itself. Hang on, not that. Films. Just do that and save that. And it just parrot fashions out exactly what you've got in your array. Um, so you've got your index there and you've got your actual value there. And that can be quite useful if you don't actually know what your array might be or, or might not be. You can um, just do that print R and it, it produces everything within that array. Um, and another useful thing is something called a for each loop. Um, and with a, a for each loop is a way of casting each element from your loop into a sort of a dummy variable. I think that I'm not sure if that's the right expression, but anyway, to do a for each loop, just do f it's it's like an, any other loop. You need to do your for each there, and then you do films as um, I don't know film title. F it doesn't really matter what you put in here because it's a sort of dummy dummy variable, and then you can you can echo out um, just echo out film title film title and just put a break in there like that um, that should do I think now just save that and refresh and that loops through um, and it assigns as it goes through each element within your array it assigns the elements to film title and then outputs film title like that um, and I think it's the same for associate ar associative array. So if we take Star Wars and Star Wars becomes our key and then we assign the value of 1977 to that. We're creating an associative array now. Um, Alien was what, 1980 was it? 1980. And Terminator was... I can't remember what Terminator was. It was 1984, was it? Anyway, we're not here for film history reasons. We're just trying to save that there. Um, now, if we do film title, I think this is right, um, and we'll just do year, then we can sort of create a little bit of extra stuff here. Um, what we'll do, we'll do film title, and then we'll say came out in um then we'll have just dollar year that should be good so yeah film title year we're, we're basically we're, we're making that from being numerical to being associative and then we're this should work i think this is working no it's not working um why does that not work i've got to think a little bit now because I don't quite know. Ah, I just missed out a little concatenation thing there. Was that right or was that wrong? Yeah, there we go. That that works. Um, super duper. Um, yeah, I mean that that's just a, a way of using for each. With um, we started off using it with numerically indexed arrays, and we s now we're using it with um, with associative arrays. So you're just you're taking films and then you're just parroting it out and putting it into these dummy variables here and outputting each dummy variable as you go through. Um, and just to go back to that thing we had of print R, print R, we can now do this with our associative array and just put in films there. Um, save that and then repeat. Yeah, and then you can see it, it coming out as an associative array. So rather than having the zero, one, two, you now have that's your key and that's the value that's going into the key. Um, so it's it's just a different way of presenting things, a different way of working with things. Um, before we used the for loops and it looped through and, and output stuff into tables and stuff. You can also use for each, you can also use printr. They're just different ways of accessing your information. Um, now what I want to crack on with in the next tutorial is we're going to carry on with um, 
with forms and we're going to show how HTML forms interact with PHP and there's a very useful thing there called superglobals and superglobals are sort of built-in arrays that PHP has and we're going to be using the post superglobal so the reason I, I wanted to get the arrays over and done with now or, or, or get a good grip of arrays is that you've got these things called superglobals and post is a very very useful superglobal because everything that's within a, a, an HTML form gets sent into this, uh, this post superglobal uh, and you can sort of loop through and output that. Um, so yeah, I mean, for we're cracking on with forms in the next tutorial.